Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm already late. It's so dark in here. I said I was late from work. It's past 10 p.m. but this elder gets so scary. There's no people here. It's a shortcut for my home. Usually I count this way but I had to take it because I'm late. As I was walking, I heard something. Someone is yelling? No, I should leave immediately. What if it's a trap? Will you please leave me alone? I thought you won't come this way, but you still came after me? There I see a man and a woman facing each other. Why they talk? I think this girl is talking him. Chakuk, all I want is you. Please accept my proposal. This guy is named Chunko. Please, Emily, stop this nonsense. You are a clear stalker. Even the last person I would want to be with isn't you. Is that so? If you can be mine alive, we will meet at another universe. She said, as a psycho. Her intentions feel strong. She pulls something out from her pocket and it's a knife. What? I'll have to do something. Hey you! I said once I was closer to them. When she looked at me, I spread my pepper spray on her. Run? What are you looking at? I said and held this hand before running. We are safe now, I said when we reached at main streets where people were walking. She tried to chase, but you know my paper spray was powerful enough because I sprayed almost the whole thing. Hey you, we are here, you can leave my hand now. She's not here anymore, I said. Oh. Thank you, miss. He waited for me to say my name. I'm right, I said. Wait, only thanks would work here, okay? He said and suddenly his smile dropped. I didn't even think this girl is different. See, everyone wants money, Jakub thought in his mind. How much do I owe you? He said in Colton. But what I said next? made him smile ear to ear. Do you even know how long that paper spray was with me? Gosh, I had to let it go because of you. I thought I have to use it for my safety or for a girl's safety. Damn, I never imagined I'd have to use it to save a muscular guy while it's growing fast. So... What should I do to return the favor? Um, buy me a new paper spray. I mean, you can bring back the old one, but it's the least you can do. As long as I'm here, you will need a paper spray for your safety. I'll protect you. He thought and smiled creepily. Yes, he was giving mafia vibes, you know. But it's not because he couldn't protect himself. LOL My lord, why am I seeing him attracted by your explanation? You should have hit on him, you know? Hit on him? Duh, I need a guy who can protect me from others, not a... Okay, I need to stop being rude to him. So let's talk about ourselves, you know? I said and I started gossip. Master, we both hold stocks. As you should. Did you find where she lives? Uh-huh. Let's pay a visit to my baby girl. We never seen Master so serious about a girl. He was never interested in this. Men started whispering. Finally, home, sweet home. I said as I was about to step inside my building but was stopped by a child. 
No, no. A man took my candy. I am strong, but he is so strong. Please help me to get my candy back. Wow, world is so cruel. How can someone take candy from a cute kid like you, huh? Don't worry. Let's break his bones together. Lead the way, I said when that cute boy held my finger. No, no, he said and pointed at the male figure. And guess who is it? You? I said and took breath before speaking. Really? First you couldn't save yourself from a girl and now you stole a candy from a child? Oh, here is a present. He said and gave a box of chocolates and toys to that kid. What is going on? I said once I made sure that kid ran away after taking the box. Nothing. Just a plan to get you here. As I expected, you wouldn't hurt a kid's feeling. Here. He said and pointed his hand at a trunk. Two men wearing all black came out of it. They opened the gate. There were plenty of boxes. A man took one box in his hand and opened it in front of us. Here is what you ask for. He said. And it was box full of pepper spray oh, and more in the trunk. Are you kidding, right? I mean, you didn't buy a whole trunk of pepper spray, did you? This is what you wanted and asked me to buy for the first time. Of course, I had to make it special. Special? It's not special. It's creepy. You're scaring me. Look. I wasn't even expecting one paper spray from you. I always forgot about it. I never imagined you. It's creeping. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Please, I've never approached a girl before. You saved me from that psycho. So I thought I should do something more special. I'm sorry. I. It's okay. I mean, you shouldn't have to do this and name more special. You can return all these things, you know. I'll take just one. I said and took one paper spray from the box. Honestly, I didn't even want to blow one, but I don't want to sound good, so... Thank you for understanding me. I said and then smiled, which I didn't like. I need tea after all this. I still can't believe you did this. By the way, I took a shower and now I need to make a tea. After taking a sip while adjusting the couch, something hit my mind really hard. Wait, how did he got my address? What's his name? J Jungkook, right? His last name? I don't know. How am I supposed to know about him without his last name? But let's give it a try. I said as I searched his name on the internet. And Mr. Jeon San, aka Jungkook, the head of the ma mafia industry, is back from New York and is willing to take his dad's position. What? Tell me if you need part two.